hi all so today in this video we'll be learning about mobile emulation using playwright so playwright has a very good feature that it can actually emulate a mobile browser so it is it doesn't work on real mobile device but it actually can emulate a mobile browser so let's see it in action so here uh, we haven't changed anything okay the code is exactly same that we have used in our previous videos so we have con contest and this test 01 source demo this is the single file and it is having uh, three tests okay test 01 test 02 and test 03 so this three tests will be running in iPhone 11 okay that's our target so um, so let's try it uh, we will be using different browsers as well and we will be uh, uh, will be executing in headless and headed mode both so let's do that and one thing like uh, we do not have to do any configuration or anything it's actually uh, very easy uh, we, we just have to give some commands and that's it not some commands just a single commands okay so let's see that so we'll be using this pytest. test so this command uh, which I'm which I will be using here it will be coming with playwright pytest plugin okay so as we have already installed playwright pytest so we will be getting that CLI command along with it okay so minus s for output and minus v for verbs and then now first I will be executing in headed mode so I'm using headed and then I will be I want to execute in iPhone 11 okay so does dash device equals to iPhone 11 okay so this we need to give and I'm not giving anything else because by default it will be running on chromium browser so as you can see three three items collected and now you can see the browser size see it's like pro um, iphone 11 right okay so both i mean all the three tests passed right sometimes it happens like if your uh, um, like the application is not uh, same as like when it opens in uh, mobile window so then in that case your test should test sh might be failed okay in my in my case i am using source demo website so it's same i mean the locators are same in both mobile view and uh, the normal browser like the desktop view okay so now let's uh, try to execute in headless mode but i think it doesn't make sense because we wanted to see the browser opening in iphone 11 and uh, let's try in different browser so uh, what we can do like uh, we can use a different browser like does does browser equals to firefox and it should be opening firefox window yep so you can see the firefox gate should be opening and it's giving some error so let's see what error it's giving and so it's saying like uh, options does is mobile is not supported in firefox so that's very good i mean we actually we are we do not have to investigate anything because playwright actually uh, giving this error so uh, it is not supported in firefox so only uh, it's currently i mean it's only supported in chromium but let's try in safari as well so uh, we can use this web kit and let's try it so yes web kit is also working so you can see yeah so both web kit and chromium is working fine now let's try uh, browser channel so browser channel equals to um, a message so yes our test is working fine in age also so what happened it stopped here okay three passed it took 14 seconds and in case of chromium oh no in case of 
WebKit, you can see it took only 10 seconds. So WebKit is quite faster. And in case of Chromium, okay, let's leave it. And now we'll be running in Chrome. Yep, Chrome is also working. So it took just seven seconds. You can see how fast Chrome is. And now if I execute in headless mode, let's see whether this uh, does this device is working or not. So we can get an idea. Yes, it is working. Okay, cool. It took just eight seconds in head headless mode, but in headed mode it took seven seconds. That's amazing. <laughs> okay, fine. So I hope you got some idea like how to use uh, this Dazdas device plugin, uh, not plugin, sorry, it's a command or CLI flag, right? So for automating your tests in uh, iPhone 11, right? And uh, I never checked any other. Uh, like iPhone 13 or 12, but I can try it here. I'm not sure whether it will work. Yes, it is working. iPhone 12 is also working. And I wanted to see the... That's this headed. Okay. Yeah, iPhone 12 is also working. Now let's try iPhone 13. or 13 Pro, I don't know. Oh my God, ah, that's cool. 13 is also working. Mm -hmm. And let's try, I mean, we can give Pro, let's try this. I mean, it doesn't matter because it's just a handset. So yeah, this flag is also working. Okay, so that's it for today. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.